<clears throat> wow. Um, I think this is one of the dumbest decisions possible in gaming ever. This is like saying we want backlash. We want to irritate you while you're gaming. We want you to boycott our games. This is what this says. EA is considering putting in-game ads. <laughs> in <-game. laughs> oh my God. And in parentheses, it says, because it went so well last time. You know, I had heard something like that, like they tried putting some in. The company wants to implement advertising in a more thoughtful way. The thoughtful way is to never put it in our games. Electronic Arts, the publisher of, the, of most sports games on the market, Battlefield, Mass Effect, and plenty of other huge franchises is considering putting ads inside its video games as another source of revenue. <laughs> Your greed knows no bounds. If you want to do this, you are not thinking about our enjoyment at all. This isn't the first time the company has done this, but given how poorly it's gone in the past, I'm surprised EA is still giving it thought. News of this came from the company's May 7th earning calls. Andrew Wilson was asked about dynamic ad insertion within AAA games and if he thought this was a possible source of cash flow for the company. Wilson said EA sees advertising as a possible meaningful driver of growth, but wants to be thoughtful about how ads could be implemented into its games. His full quote on the matter reads as follows. Yeah, I'm just like, I can't, I'm trying to think of a way that they could put ads in where it wouldn't irritate us. In the beginning of the game would irritate us because we're trying to play the game. In the middle of the game, in between sections of the game, all of that would irritate us. Where they would have a chance is at the end, but we're going to turn it off anyway. So, you know, I think it's still early on that. And we have looked over the course of our history to be very thoughtful about advertising in the context of our play experiences. But again, as we think about the many, many billions of hours spent both playing, creating, watching and connecting, <laughs> it's just so... Yeah, one of these, it's just, it's one of these corporate answers <laughs> where much of that engagement happens to be on the bounds of a traditional game experience. Our expectation is that advertising has an opportunity to be a meaningful driver of growth for us. That opportunity is extremely tiny. We'll be very thoughtful as we move into that. But we have teams internally in the company right now looking at how to do we do very thoughtful implementations inside of our game experiences. But more importantly, as we start to build the community and harness the power of community beyond the bounds of our games, how do we think about advertising as a growth driver in those type of experiences? Very wordy. They're, tr they're just short of it. We're trying to figure out a way to put ads in your games without pissing you off. That's what he's saying. A lot of flowery, a lot of flowery language about community building to try to explain why a game you've <laughs> bought might be trying to sell you more unrelated bullish in the coming years. The EA has already tried this multiple times before and the community isn't talking uh, the community the community it's talking about building reacted very poorly. Back in 2020, EA put ads into UFC 4 for the boys that would pop up in the middle of fights. Good lord. In the middle of fights. 
not in between fights or in between rounds at least? Are you kidding me? The backlash prompted EA to remove them, but perhaps flashing a logo during a match isn't the thoughtful implementation Wilson has in mind. Uh, was it the logo? Was it only a logo? Depends on how it's done, man. Because, you know, like fights, if you, you got a UFC game, they have banners and different stuff. Like if it just shows up on a, 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 a big a flat screen or a banner while they're fighting, you could get, get away with it like that. I got to see what it looked like. EA has also partnered with political candidates like former U.S. President Barack Obama, whose campaign was advertised in Burnout Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for the next Mass Effect to launch with a big old Dorito logo plastered on the side of my spaceship. <laughs> EA isn't the only company that's tried this and received pushback. I still remember how annoyed people got when Capcom put ads for the Capcom Pro Tour in the Street Fighter V. Oh, I didn't know about that. Uh, those were especially heinous because they just slapped the logo on on the character and it looked silly and disruptive. Again, not very thoughtful. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Don't do it. EA and any other company that sees this video, do not do it. Or I will be making videos laughing about the backlash and boycotting that you guys are going to be getting. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction to this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and share. And please tell me, are you okay with ads in your games? Are you not okay with ads in your games? When it happened with the UFC game, and with, uh, what's this other game? They're talking about what? Something Paradise, whatever. Burnout Paradise. Tell me, was it passable? Like how, when they did it for UFC, was it passable? Did it work for you? Were you just like, ah, you got used to it. You got past it. And it really isn't nothing. Or was it really like, are you kidding me? Right in the middle of the fight. Watch the boys. Oh my. Make sure you watch the boys and me and the boys kill Homelander. All right, I'm a go for now. 10 million subscribers. Woo, bruv.